Scallywags, here's another tech tip. We're going to call this tech tip eight, and this is for you. Um, we had tech tip seven, so I haven't seen it, was about labeling battery cables, and it was using our standard P-Touch, any kind of labeler, but using clear heat shrink in order to make it stay on. And that was great. <clears throat> Worked good. I've also used this to label the thermostats for my fridge and freezer and for all of my little digital battery monitors, you know, for voltage, stuff like that. So these are great labelers. But in our class, and I, big shout out to Shane, we're talking about labeling and I said, well, most reputable boat builders will have a great little labeling system. Heat shrink, you know, prints it off, does the whole thing, but they're prohibitively expensive. And so I said, yeah, technicians usually don't have these. That's what I've been doing for about 10 years. Little did I know. So Shane did a little research and I go up to his training station. He's got all these beautiful little heat shrink labels. And I went, wow, that looked expensive. And he goes, no, no, you got to put it out there. That's why we, why we do this for our, our former students. So I've changed my story. They are not expensive anymore. Uh, a decade later after I started, you know, doing that lesson. This is a, a Dymo, the Rhino 5200. And so it's just basically a label maker, um, but super cool, lots of features. Believe it or not, you're gonna have to read the instructions. Um, I did. But the beauty of this is you can buy heat shrink tubing. And you know, it'll make all of your regular labels, uh, which is super cool. It will actually do all sorts of specialty labels, little flags and stuff like that with your regular vinyl. But what I really like is when you, you can print heat shrink tubing. And so you, you just turn it on and you, you type in your label, you hit print, out it comes, that easy. And bam, I got a label. This one says wake speed or whatever. And so all you do is you slip it over the wire and there's all sorts of sizes. The only thing is it's only good up to about three quarters of an inch in diameter for this particular model, which is great because that gets you up to like a, a number one or two, you know, into small battery cable size. Beyond that, you're gonna be using our old method with the clear heat shrink. But you just take your little label and slip it on, boom. Grab your heat gun, shrink it down, and you've got a professional looking labels. That's what we're about in our industry, is being professionals, and I think it's good. We're talking about, you buy the little cartridges, it's maybe a dollar a foot for the heat shrink tubing. That's not expensive. You're talking 15, 20 cents for a label. When they're billing out at 110, I think you should have one. Or your yard or whoever you work for needs to have one of these that prints heat shrink labels. And even if a boat doesn't have labels, after you're done working on it, everything that you've done will have a label. And that is what is gonna strike us out as being professionals. And that's what the goal of our program here is. So thanks for watching.